Okay, here you'll find some notes on home electricity. So what is energy? You guys came up with things about um, you can do something. It can allow you to move. But simply, this all narrows down to one idea. It allows you to do work. Okay, so it allows you to do work essentially is what is energy. We'll come back to what work means a bit later. So what are the different types of energy? Well, there's kinetic. So this is energy due to motion. And then there's a whole lot of potential energies. So for example, there is gravitational potential energy this is energy due to a height there is elastic potential energy this is something like a rubber band or spring There is sound, there is heat, there is light, there is magnetic, there is nuclear, you find nuclear in the sun or an at atomic bomb, there is Electric potential energy or electrical, and that's due to um, current. And one of the other ones is chemical. Oops, there was a C. Important thing for that one is food. Okay, so we've got kinetic and potential energies. Potential, you guys in class said that it means you can do something in the future. And so if you have some sort of gravitational potential energy, it allows you to be able to do something in the future. Um, in other words, using a gravitational potential energy due to your height, you could do bungee jumpings. In other words, you jump off a bridge and you increase your kinetic energy, which is your motion, as you're falling. Okay, so you're actually able, because you have gravitational potential energy, to turn that into motion as you're falling. You can't do it when you're on the ground. You can't uh, gain kinetic energy from falling because you can't fall anywhere. Elastic, you can pull back a rubber band and store some elastic energy. And then when you want to use it, you can then flick the little thing across the room. Okay. So potential energy is stored energy that can be used to do something later. Kinetic energy, on the other hand, is energy that an object has due to its oops, no apostrophe due to its motion
Okay, the law of conservation of energy. Okay, this is not to be confused with conservation of energy, which is just energy saving techniques. This is the law of conservation of energy. Okay, so essentially it says that energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can be only transformed from one type to another. Okay, so energy cannot be created or destroyed, it can only be transformed from one type to another. So what's an example? Okay, let's say there's some stairs going up to a platform that is where you do the high dive, okay? So down the bottom you have a pool, and in that pool you have water, and you have a person who climbs up all the way to the top. They gain gravitational potential energy, and they use chemical potential energy as they climb, and it gets converted into gravitational potential energy. And then when they're falling in their dive, they are gaining kinetic energy. And then when they hit the water, it then creates sound energy or heat. So we go from chemical potential energy to gravitational potential energy, to kinetic energy, to sound and heat. Now in your notes, please give another example, not this one.